Welcome back to the Blue Way Talk Show with your host, Dwayne Bluestein, Miss Shelly Marie, and CC Tennyson. Yay! <laughs> hey, we, we want to kind of come back to your foundation. Is there a website that we can go to or how they can get in contact with you or anything? You know, right now I'm in the process of revamping all of my websites, um, my ccpeniston.com and um, lifting up to succeed my foundation. I'm, I'm like joining everything together. I'm getting everything all joined together. So I just redid a photo shoot and everything. So I will say coming very soon. And I'm not just like doing the cop out thing, like where you just asked me to answer. <laughs> I really am doing like a re up on the website. So it should be up in the next couple of weeks or so. Okay. I mean, there's places where you can go for the dot com and my Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. CC Peniston under, underscore Peniston for the Twitter, Instagram is CC Peniston put together, and then my Facebook is CC Peniston, the, the official CC Peniston fan, fan page. So there is stuff out there, but I'm revamping it. Just mm -hmm. so you know, you can find us. Yay! And I'll answer you. It's me answering you. So if I take a second, you can't go off on me because. It's me. Yeah, she doesn't have like a handle or a person. That or a robot. Likes, or I robot. will answer that for you. <laughs> what she, is? She does pretty good. She 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 does jump on it and, you know, kind of responds to so many people. And she's doing so much better on social media. Well, you helped me you. with that. I was like, I don't want to. He's like, okay, someone else will do it. I was like. <laughs> 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 you think I got right? I was like, oh, no, hell no. Let me get on my social media yeah. right now. It's, it, but it's, I mean, it's moving. It's, I mean, it's putting us in a position of, you know, we have people watching, you know, so. Um, I've definitely seen the numbers change. Yeah. I'm seeing the numbers grow and they're authentic numbers. And, you know, people are, are responding back to me and I respond back to them when they leave me emails. I try to do my best to answer a few every single day and post as much as I can. That's so good. that's yeah, a blessing. We, we, we took a picture the other day and I said, what, what was the, what was our, um, what did we say? I, I guarantee I'm gonna hit 600. I was like, I said, this one's gonna hit 600. No, that's what he told me. He said, I think this one will do that for you. And yeah. I was like, I mean, I don't, I don't never know, but you know, I think that thing that's different now, I think than in the past, I think that I haven't really shown for me, like a lot of body shots. I think people were like, okay, is she scared to put like her body out there? Cause I would do head shots. That's just how I was. So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put like the full body shots out there and, and people are responding to that because they want to see what you actually look like. Right. This is a day and age where people want to see what you look like on your social media as an artist and see what you're doing. If I'm actually doing CrossFit, if I'm keeping my weight up, if I'm doing whatever, because hey, I put it out there doing the lipo story that I did yeah. in Us Weekly and all this stuff. So people want to know, okay, is she keeping up? on that I'm keeping up on it how She's you doing it she is I'm gluten free I'm doing my probiotics I take a lot of herbs I take care of myself and good skincare and a lot of water y'all eat uh, right vegetables and meat that's it okay yeah, that's Protein. <laughs> yeah. A little coffee here and there but little little coffee just a little a little a little bit so being in in, in entertainment how do you maintain relationships <sighs> I'm married now, to my music right I'm now. I'm prying. I'm prying. I, and I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Somewhat, kind of, sort of, but um, it can be kind of hard sometimes because you know what you're on the road. Sometimes I'm on the road two or three weeks, and sometimes it may be like a weekend. Then I'm home for a couple of days, maybe a week. I go right back out again. Sometimes for someone who really doesn't understand the business, they're like, "Well, what are you really doing out there?" But you know, they don't understand. It's like, uh, my job. Yeah, <laughs> it's like not, it's not like you're just trying to just be out there doing the most or hooking up with people or doing, I mean, some people may be on that, but I'm not on that. Um, out about getting prepared for my show that night. Some shows are earlier than others. That makes it really hard. When I have like an eight o'clock show, I'm just like, no, yeah. in slow motion. But when I have like a later show, sometime a club show, it makes it a little bit easier. You can go out to dinner, hang out with some of your friends who may be in the city. Like, hey, I'm in. Y'all want to go eat? You do the show that night, you know, and, you know, it's it's cool. It's cool. I mean, it's funny that you say that because when you were in Chicago, Princess, how are you? Um, I said, did you catch up with her? And it was, it's, I mean, when you're in, you go to the, you do your sound check, you're in the it's hotel, like you're, you're, you're just going and going and going. And people think that you have all this free time and, yeah. you know, and it's, it's so deceiving when we talk about social media, because that's the big thing that's out there. But when they see pictures of you, they really don't understand that that's a quick picture and you're here, you're on a radio station, you're, you know, doing television, you're doing the sound check 
And that day kind of fills up real quick. And then you're here and then you're on a plane somewhere else. Definitely. That's what happened. We'll see when I went to Chicago last time, I came off the plane. We had like a three or four hour rehearsal. I had dinner. I came back to the hotel. We had like maybe one or two hours to relax. Um, and then it was by that time, it was kind of like time to wind down, yeah. get up at like nine in the morning and head straight for Decatur. And I had two shows in Decatur. Yeah. So it was like, I, you have one show that you're doing for an hour. We have our hour break, boom, do another show. And then you're driving back the next day because there's no planes that go to Decatur from to Chicago. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, it's a full day. So I was tired. Not to even mention the time difference. Girl, I was already like jacked on the time because it's like nine in the morning i'm like no it's six in the morning at home are you yeah. serious right now and i like my sleep so yeah but hey it was it was what it was you gotta do your job now the the, the crazy thing about it is people don't understand when you're performing you do a lot of this yourself like setting up these shows getting people to you know book you and everything like that so you do the business side you do i do some um, I, I actually have a team of people like that do like I have Frank and 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 the mama drug caller. Mm -hmm. They like will set up the show, send emails and say, okay, this is the confirmation about what we already discussed. They get the flights and they send the stuff to me. Sometimes I may make make an initial contact with somebody and say, hey, you know, um, it may be on my website. I just want to make an initial contact. This is who you can contact from here to discuss numbers, to negotiate everything that needs to be negotiated. So I don't like to be too hands on because really, people don't want to hear the artist say, no, I'm not doing that. Right, right. They don't hear no from you. Right. So I let other people do that. And I just smile and do my job and sing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that makes it easier. And people really don't want you as an artist handling your own business too much. Because it kind of looks unprofessional. Right. I mean, I guess if you have to do it, you have to. But I think it's better when you have a team of people that can handle certain things for you. It just It's a it's a better look. And I think it comes off more professional than so people. So playing to the friends and family working yeah, for you? Yeah, it, it, it does. But you know what? I do pay them, though. Okay. I do pay them and I take care of them and you know sometimes I give them gifts sometime and I'll be like hey thank you for the things that you do and I just want to show you I appreciate you it could be a, a watch it could be some clothes it could be a spa day or something like that or and I'll actually give them money for to take care of things that they need to but you have to let the people who you love around you you have to let them know you appreciate them I don't care who it is you got a good so. team though I oh mean, I, I do love, I, I, mean, I, I do I love mom. them I mean I love your brothers I mean they you have a very very good team and um, we appreciate you being on our team because, you know, you've you've taught us so much uh, about you. the business and, you know, how much work and the dedication and, you know, the days that I'm like, oh, I, I can't do this no more. And you're like, uh, get up. <laughs> so, you know, we appreciate Yeah, we'll it. check each other just so you know. I'll be like, um, you haven't been on your Facebook yet. What's, what's going on? It's like 930 morning. It's like, well, dang, can I get, can get coffee? <laughs> no, you may not. You need to get up now and get on your, you need to get on your social media, like, right? <laughs> it's, and, and that's the great thing about this team is that we, I mean, there are days you fight, you, you, you're mad, you do this and that, but it's still a team that, you know, we got to get it done because we work together and we're going to get it done no matter what success is the only option. So, But that's the kind of people that you want around you. You don't want yes people around you. want people that make you greater. I want people that when they listen to my music, they may say, I love one, two, and three. Not really feeling four, but I like five. Six is okay. You want people that make you greater. So you don't want yes people around you. want the people that is going to tell you the truth and say, okay, I'm going to work on that then. I'm going to work on four and six and I'm going to get that right and make you love that just as much as one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's why I appreciate it's you like guys. It's, exactly. You know, you got to have those people around you because you can't improve if people are like, oh, it's great. Everything's great. No, it's not. Mm. <laughs> we say no. We say, mm -mm, that, mm -mm, mm -mm. see, see, I don't like that outfit. Or, or it would be oh, like, don't tell me. we won't say anything. And she's like, what's wrong? <laughs> why your face look like that? Like, it could be just this. Do you really want to know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. That's not the one. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's the great thing about this team. So I yeah, love it. Hey, Katy Perry. What's, what was that article all about? Oh, that was so great. It was a Billboard article in uh, Billboard.com. And they just came out the other day. And they were saying that she had a new song out. And it was a mix between myself and Crystal Waters. And I was like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Is bringing some of the old with some of the new, and that's what people yeah. are looking for right now. I think music has gotten so much away from the story and substance. I think that people want the story; they want to feel music in their soul again. Right. And it's not just a vocal; it's like you're there's an actual story. I felt like '90s music was definitely like that. I mean, some of the artists there, and it was like 
dang, I can remember when I was at blah, 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 and this song was playing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you remember where you were on certain songs. And so, you know, I think that's what music is getting back to. People want real singing, real music, real voices. Well, I, I listen, we listen to you all the time and we go, oh, wow. She Thanks. can just blow. For no I mean, reason. <laughs> I mean, she can just blow. We we were we do a jam. We were doing a jam session at your house uh, one day, and I, I have video footage, and she's laying on her stomach, and I'm just hitting play, and the music is just going, and people are like, "Dang!" And then when I show them that you just laying on your stomach blowing, I'm like, <laughs> "That's a real singer doing what she does," mm -hmm. and you know the music that comes out of you is just so from your heart, and we really appreciate. It. I know your fans and everybody else. It really appreciate you just giving that serious effort of making your craft the best. Well, and we thank appreciate you. it. Well, we 23 years later, I can honestly say that I still really love to sing. Um, it still comes from my soul. And the minute that I don't feel that way is the minute that I'll stop doing it. But I'm still like driving down the street. Like, I wonder if they can see me like getting it in. No, no I was they, singing this. <laughs> I was singing that song. You know, Clarity is like a dance song from um, some Zed and Foxes. I was like, you are. The, I was in there getting it. And I was like, my friend was behind me because she was following me. We were going somewhere. She was like, really, though? Really? <laughs> Listen, I was with her. It, it, she dropped me the other day and I just heard her screaming going down the street singing. <laughs> that's a song. Like, that's a song I was like, playing. Oh Lord have mercy. She's still going. But <laughs> it's, just, it's just how it is and, and I love it. I don't we don't mind. We love to hear you and mm. you know we heard if, if you look at the tasting the part four we got you in there just doing seen your it. thing. Oh, that's doing what's your, up. We got, we got was that pre-karaoke or during karaoke? During karaoke. Woo! Was, when I sang was, Sweet Thing, we got yeah, it all started. It, yeah. was, it, was, it, was a, it was a good touch and, and the, the whole making memories... Um, we appreciate it. I mean, we yeah, appreciate that was it. That was, yes, that was and I had to say time. that about you. I'm so proud of you, and I'm Aww. so proud of you for the talk show, the Blue Way Talk Show, and Shelly with Making mm -hmm. Memories. And um, I'm really happy to see the success of the thought of, like, just even with my music, with you having the thoughts, the thought of your talk show and the thought of, you know, your, you cooking and doing the kitchen tastings and stuff like that, really to touch the palate and make people feel that their soul mm -hmm. is big. And for the people and the listeners that you touch, you know, with, you know the YouTube channel and everything. Um, that's why they want you to read the book because people love you and they love your energy. So I give kudos to you both. Bless, hey, bless, bless, you. bless. She was with us on the first tasting at your house. Sure was. Yes. I said, oh, I said, Cece, yeah. you got to come with me. Let's go check this out. And you guys got to understand, this was um, we sat down and put this together and said, okay, let's go make this happen. And you know the the tasting happened and I said, okay, we're going to start this talk show. And when you say you're going to do something, just do it. Just I mean, it, it. if you believe in your heart that is is leading you to do it, you can do it. And that's the key is truly identifying the passion, whatever your passion is. We all have something different. You know, y'all all have something different. But it's just knowing what that is and honing into that and, and, and riding it till the sun. To it. <laughs> yeah, till the sun go down. Cause I we, love it. Because we won't quit. Boots. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, you know, I Same got some plugs. rhinestone. You know, I got some boots with some little rhinestones on. You know what, right? I'm the rhinestone girl. They know I try to put yeah, rhinestones she, she on everything. everything. So if we, Gucci was a girl, my dog, uh, he would yeah. get rhinestones too. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, September 14th, Dukes and Boots. Moroccan. And it's not Moroccan. It's Dukes and Boots. It's Western, Western style. Mm -hmm. Western Ooh, style. Beans so. and... Well, we, yeah. see, we don't we don't know because we don't know about the food because she has to get there first to to figure it out. Right. Did I say that right this time? That's yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. We are we are really really excited about this weekend, and we are so excited that um, you came aboard and on the show. And um, is there any other shows that you want to plug that's out there right now? Um, just I'll be in Atlantic City coming up. I'll be in um, Chicago for Chicago AIDS Walk. I'll be doing WGN TV. And um, I have a show in Jersey coming up with like George Lamont, Cover Girls, all that's November 23rd. So those are the main things I have coming up right now. And once again, Unsung, December 4th. December 4th, Unsung. You, it's, uh, if you're not a music fan, uh, well, you're crazy. No matter what, you gotta, you gotta watch it. I, I'm telling you, everyone is going to be completely amazed at it. I want you to check out Cece Peniston. Check out this young lady, Domestic Diva Catering. I mean, it, it, if you don't know anything about food, reach her, reach out to her. You can find her on Facebook. You can get her anywhere. Had catering, absolutely everything. She's amazing. amazing. These two ladies right here <laughs> make my life that much easier. So 
My name is Dwayne Bluestein on the Blue Wave Talk Show with Shelly, CC. We in the house. We'll see you back October 10th. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.